I log on to Twitter. I see this tweet from World Athletics promoting a matchup in the 400 between Shawnee miller Weibo and Femke Bull. And I'm wondering, hey, when is this happening? This can't be at World Indoors. But then lo and behold, I see the graphic at the bottom of the photo. And it says World Indoor Championships there at the bottom. Belgrade 2022. So apparently, Shawnee miller Weibo is going to debut at the World Indoor Championships. She's making her 2022 debut at the World Indoor Championships. She hasn't run a race since the Olympic final. And she apparently is going to race this 400 at World Indoors. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to the 400 on the global scene, because a lot of attention gets paid on the NCAA side, but it gets overlooked globally because a lot of the big names don't show up. Femke Bowl has basically been having her way with that event. And yes, she's a four-meter hurdler, but she's very good in the flat 400. And she's been churning out win after win after win over in Europe. So this is going to be actually a tough test, I think, for Shawnee miller Weibo. Now, all things being equal, you obviously would take Shawnee miller Weibo, But the fact that it's her debut and Bowl has looked so sharp, I think makes this a, an interesting matchup. And we're used to having strange underdog type winners in the 400 at these world indoor championships or just pro 400s in general indoors this will not be the case because one of these two women is going to win and they're obviously both established names yeah and the, obviously there's the unique circumstance of it being a debut or a season debut for yeah. uh shawnee miller weibo um it's kind of wild how when you are an athlete in certain countries, you can kind of just go this route. You don't need a – in USA, there's so many people who technically want to be on a world team that they uh, we do this whole trials thing. you got to have a regular season. you got to qualify for the trials, et cetera, et cetera. But here, if you're just one of the best in your country all time, you can just be like, hey, I'm going to do this. You send and a text. Like a week before, send a text. Send the text. I'm in. And then you I'm show in. up. Um, <laughs> you don't have to – but uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how she does. I don't know. Like it's one of those things where obviously Shawnee Miller Weibo is the faster runner. I don't think anyone would deny that. Correct. But Femke Bowl is showing consistency on the indoor season, and not just consistency, legit consistency. Fifty point three, as you know, when we're used to seeing women running forty nines and forty eights at the top top level, fifty point three indoors is equivalent to like a 49 at least outdoor so mm. it's not like she's throwing down 51 second times that's like all right mm. that's 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 nice and all but run something quick 50.3 is quick and she's run 50.3 times this season so i think femke bull will be a tough challenge and dare i say it, i think femke bull might win i'm willing to go with she might win mm -hmm. well on the all-time list miller Weibo has run 50.21, and Bull is at 50.3. Now, the difference is miller Weibo's 50.21 comes from last year, and Bull, as I mentioned, has just been tearing it up, putting her best performances out there this year. Do you know how rare a Shawnee miller Weibo indoor 400 is? Prior to the one that you're looking at on the all-time list there, 50.21, when's the last time she ran an indoor 400? Not at, She's run 300s indoors and 200s indoors. When's the last time she ran a 400 indoors? I'm guessing college. 2014. Is that college? Yeah. I think that's the year after college. No, year after college. Wow. Yeah. I think that shows that, you know, <laughs> we, we harp on this all season long, but like the top, top athletes, while there are some that do appreciate indoor, there are a lot that are like, indoor is not my thing. I'm an out mm -hmm. my my job is running outdoors, not indoors. And when someone like Shawnee Miller Weibo can only run a 400 a few times mm -hmm. in her long career, yeah, kind of shows how much they look at indoors. So I didn't even rank it this year. I've been in the pro rankings show, and I was like, I'm gonna do all the running events for indoors. So 60. Six, that are that are contested at the World Championships. So 60, 60 hurdles, 400, 15, 3K. But then the 400, I just left blank because basically it's your college rankings. And on the women's side, it would be Femke Bowl 
and then your college rankings. So there was just no, there was no interest in it. Now her entering late puts some interest, but it puts interest in the, into a one meet scenario. Looking at the chat here, it looks like a lot of people are, are picking Miller Weibo, which yeah, you don't, you don't blame people for, for going that route. You know, she's run 48, three outdoors. The, the difference is how is she going to do in an indoor setting in a one-off in a debut? Um, but I'm excited that it's happening again. I saw that announcement and I was like, wait, is this real? Um, and very, very pleased that we're going to get a good 400 indoors. That's cool. Yeah. Tampa Eagle member for two months now says Miller for sure. And Jay Moss Miller Weibo by a mile. I don't think she's going to win by mm -hmm. a mile because imagine winning a 400 by a mile. It'd be tough. Be tough. That's really hard. To yeah. Do. I That'll think incredible. I said this before with Coleman at Milrose. Hey, he's not going to run unless he's ready to run. You got to feel the same way about Miller Weibo because they've been paying attention to what's going on in the rest of the track world. They know how well Bull's going to be running. I just think it's interesting because if you're looking at a pro athlete who's only going to run one race indoors, that one race is never usually the world championships. That one race is it's, it's Milrose, it's Birmingham, yeah. it's Tarun, yeah. it's New Balance Indoor Grand Prix, and then they call it a season. It's never, all right, yeah, I'm going to open this thing up. I mean, this is basically her outdoor season opener, but it takes place indoors in a way because of when yeah. the timing is. World Indoors is late this year, so you're basically you're mid to late March. She's going to run this, and then she's probably going to go on her way and run another race a couple weeks later outdoors in Florida. It just so happens that her debut happens to be in Serbia at the world indoor championships. So you couldn't pick two more divergent paths to this race. One person's a 400 meter hurdler who's been racing all indoor season. The other person 400 meter champion who will be stepping the line uh, for the first time this season. So very excited to see that in terms of entries, Gordon, we got the,